Okay, you guys have been patiently waiting for me to rank Peter Parker's suits in Marvel Spider-Man 2, so let's just get into it. I'm not going to waste your time. At number 39, I have the 25th century suit, and I, I'm just not feeling this at all. Nothing about it even remotely feels like Spider-Man to me. It's just way too clunky. It doesn't look great. Yeah, bottom of the list. At number 38, I have the Saving Lives slash Wraith suit. You know, this is the suit that you unlock when you complete that side mission with Wraith. There's just too many lines on this suit, and Spider-Man just looks weird in it. There's just something about it where it makes it look like he's uncomfortable when he's wearing it it's like as uncomfortable as i would be if you weren't scrolling down and hitting the like button right now and this is going to be one that surprises a lot of people because at number 37 i have the black and gold suit from spider-man no way home i used to like this design a lot actually but i've grown to dislike it over the last couple of years maybe it's because so many people online have pointed out the things that they don't like and i've slowly started to agree with them the wiring looks off and it would have worked more if it was just a simple black and gold spidey suit with the gauntlet that Strange gives him in the movie. And I think what really bothered me, what rubbed me the wrong way with this costume in particular, is that this is the suit you get when you hit level 60. There are so many good suits on this list, and I couldn't believe that this was the final unlock. And ranking 40 suits is a lot, okay? It's hard to remember how many there are. It's hard to remember how many I'm ranking, where I'm at. The number crunching is crazy. And today's sponsor helps me out a lot with that specific specifically. Today's video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is a fun and interactive way to learn about math, data science, and computer science. You can choose from thousands of different lessons, whether you want to go for something that's basic or advanced, and there's already tons of new lessons that are being added to Brilliant every single month. Once you download the app, you're going to go through a questionnaire. They're going to ask you, you know, what subject do you want to learn more in? At what level have you already learned in this subject? That way, regardless of whatever your skill level might be in the subject that you want to learn the most for, you're going to be able to get a tailor-made experience through Brilliant. These days, data skills are more important and in demand than ever, and the Data Analysis Fundamentals course is great for exactly that. With just a few quick lessons, you're going to get to analyzing real data and draw interesting conclusions from it right away. And the kind folks at Brilliant are hooking it up for you guys. If you head to my link in the description box below right now, that's brilliant.org forward slash caboose. First of all, you're going to get 30 days free, and then the first 200 people that use that link will get 20% off an annual plan. But what are you waiting for? Be the go-to person for everybody, all right? Get started with Brilliant today. The link is in the description box below. With that being said, let's get back to ranking these suits. Jumping back into it now, at number 36 on this list, I have the Life Story suit. And it's weird because a long time ago, I actually requested for these suits to be in the game, but seeing them realized as a 3D model just doesn't work for me. And the color variations are very weird too. Orange is my favorite color, but it does not look good on Spider-Man. Number 35, I have the MCU Iron Spider suit. And this is just another suit that I thought I loved at first, but I kind of agree with what most people have said online about it in that it is used way too much in the films. It was getting to a point where in the MCU, I was seeing Spider-Man wear his Iron Spider suit more than just his classic red and blues, and I wasn't a fan of that personally. It should have been a suit that was only used under extreme circumstances, but instead it kind of became Peter's main suit for a bit. I like that they updated it in this game to look closer to how it did in the movies, but still, I've lost my love for it. Moving on though, at number 34, I have the tactical suit. Unfortunately, a lot of the digital deluxe edition costumes are gonna be lower on my list and yeah i thought maybe i was going to be won over by this after seeing some screenshots but i've realized that similarly to a lot of the suits at the bottom of the list i've just never been compelled to wear it while free roaming around this isn't one of those suits that i want to pose for when i'm going into photo mode for some screenshots it's got that over design problem that a lot of people online aren't a fan of then at number 33 we have the kumo suit and this one makes me sad i'm an avid marvel snap player and i love peach momoko's art and when this first was revealed i thought thought it looked incredible, but I don't know. I just don't vibe with it now that I see it in game. Still though, it'd make for a sweet variant card in Marvel Snap, I'm just saying. And number 32, the Apunkalyptic suit. I will say it's kind of fun, but it just ain't it for me. The eyes are weird. The hair sticking out of the top doesn't do it for me. Overall, I can understand why people might like this suit, but sadly, it's another one that I don't see myself equipping very often, if at all. At 31, I got the Arantia suit. I think this one is close to being good, but again, has too 
much going on for me to really like it wish it was more simplistic because i think the red and gold is a sweet color scheme for spider-man then at number 30 i have the stone monkey suit this probably ended up being the best of the digital deluxe edition suits for peter but still i've never used it in more than five minutes just to see what it looked like while swinging around next up is the far from home stealth suit i don't mind this one but i don't love it either the thing is back when we first got it it was cool because it was during a time when we thought we weren't going to get any new content for spider-man ps4 now though it being a suit that you actually have to level up to unlock the novelty is just worn off and it doesn't work too well for me i think what could have made this suit better would be if there was actually something on it that made it look like he was an agent of shield you know like that suit that miles actually has it's pretty sweet following that though at 28 i have the antioch suit and i think this suit is decent and narratively it was cool in the first game but i never really wanted it to return in this game plus i think there are some more fun things they could have done with the different colorways but it just felt a bit uninspired and at 27 i have the homemade suit and i think we're starting to cross into a territory of suits now that i don't mind and the homemade suit is one of them but i feel as though a lot of the suits returning from the first game aside from a few that deserve to come back didn't excite me when i saw them on the list here the homemade suit is cool i like the eyes i like how handmade it looks but i just wasn't hyped to have it return in spider-man 2 and number 26 you guys are gonna hate me for this but i have spider punk now let me explain myself okay i just have to be trained transparent ever since i saw spider-man across the spider-verse that is the only version of spider-punk that i want to see pop up in any media going forward so insomniac it's not your fault i think the spider-punk design in this game is totally fine and it worked really well i did love it in the first game but across the spider-verse's version of spider-punk has spoiled me now at number 25 i have the new blue suit and it's weird because i love the origin of this suit and i love that there's some fun fantastic four easter eggs in this game but it's just a little plain for me some of the colorways spice it up a bit though in a good way the black and blue looks really nice but i think the finishing touch would have been for him to have the four on his chest with the spider logo on the back i know that the suit is from the comics and it's a one-to-one -one recreation and that logo on his chest is the logo that he had from the comic books but that fantastic four you know that number four it just brings it all together also insomniac Give me back my bombastic bag man, please. At 24 now though, I have the original advanced suit. I think some people might actually hate me for this one as well, but man, this suit just doesn't compare to the other one we're gonna get to later. Also, the colorways are just wacky. Aside from the black suit version, which is pretty sweet when paired with the symbiote powers, but the other ones, uh, yeah. Listen, the advanced suit will always have a special place in my heart simply for the fact that it was the first thing we saw to give us an idea that Insomniac was doing something totally Totally new and unique with Spider-Man. But I always wished that the red and the blue on the suit was just a bit deeper and a bit more saturated. Then now at number 23, I have the last hunt suit. I dig it actually. The colorways don't really matter to me, but the base design is nice. And the fact that it's a straight up Spider-Man Craven suit is kind of cool. I won't lie. At 22, I have the 2099 suit. Listen, I like it, but the white 2099 suit is just better. I don't make the rules. I would have been a lot happier if that version of the 20 99 suit came back across the spider verse also did kind of spoil me once again i really love the 2099 design in that movie but it still looks good in this game plus one of the colorways gives you a more accurate color for the 2099 suit as it looked in the comic books which i thought was nice and number 21 i have the homecoming suit i never understood the hate for this one i thought this suit looked fantastic when we first got it in that film i still think it looks great and i also appreciate that insomniac made it look way more accurate to the film in this game than it did look previous I'm not usually one to be like, well, actually, his eyes are on a 45 degree angle, and in the game, they're on a 39 degree angle, but I'll never be upset at Insomniac wanting to work on and improve the visuals of a suit. And at 20, I have the Secret Wars Civil War suit, and there is only one reason why this suit is this high on this list, because I actually don't think it looks amazing in all honesty, but out of every single suit in the game, this is the only one that has a completely different set of web wings, or in this case, straight up falcon wings that you can fly around with it looks so cool and i've had a ton of fun messing around with the suit in photo mode i don't really like the actual suit all that much but man those falcon wings are too nice then at number 19 i have the hybrid suit gotta give insomniac credit here once again as they clearly use the ps5's power to add such a nice shine to the gold on that logo i think this suit is overhated but i understand why some may not love it it works for me though and then at number 18 i have the classic iron spider 
suit. And again, I really like how much better it looks in this game than it did before. Not that it ever looked bad, but man, it's got this amazing metallic red and gold now in this game. It just looks so sleek and so sick in the sun. Plus, of course, you know, in this game, Peter Parker Spider-Man is using the iron arms permanently. And obviously Insomniac goes the extra mile to add that bit of detail when you're using this costume. The iron arms are the classic gold ones. And this one has some really nice colorways. The blue and the gold look great. The all black and the gold look fantastic as well. I think Insomniac did a bang up job bringing this one back. This is one of those where I was happy to see it return. At number 17, I have the Spalding Basketball Spider-Man. I mean, the amazing Spider-Man one suit. A really overhated design once again. Although I've seen a lot of people come around to it these days, which I am glad to see. It's extremely unique, but very Spider-Man. At number 16, I have the Far From Home suit. And I know this is for a lot of people, their least favorite Spider-Man movie. I don't know what crazy pills those people are taking. Love this film, love this suit. Black and red has always looked great for Spider-Man since the early days, and it looks great here as well. Even that nice little added touch of the white logo on the back meshes very well. At number 15, I have the Scarlet Spider 3 suit, and I'm just glad that this is an instance of comic book suits being in the game, something that I feel was sorely lacking when it came to Peter Parker's suit selection. I personally really dig all the Scarlet Spider designs, whether it's the Kane Scarlet Spider with the red and the black, or obviously the original Scarlet Spider, which we're gonna get to later. But yeah, Scarlet Spider 3, also looks fantastic. The logo looks sweet. The eyes are really cool. The hood up is a nice touch. I'm a big fan. And then at number 14, I have the Assassin's Creed Spider-Man, or as you might know it, the Arachnite suit. Ever since this was revealed as one of the pre-order bonus costumes for the game, I was extremely hyped. An amalgamation between Moon Knight and Spider-Man, them adding it into this game as an alternate costume, love it. The only one thing that takes away from this suit being close to the top, honestly, Honestly, is the fact that when you use your web wings with this suit, he doesn't pull out his cape and do a Batman Arkham Glide. I think if Insomniac did that with this suit, it would be like top five for me. Moving on though, at number 13, I have the Anti-Venom suit. And I know some people actually don't like this one at all, but it is so good in my opinion. Narratively, it made for one of my favorite moments in the game. I love as well that Insomniac paid homage to the Todd McFarlane era, that design of Spider-Man. The eyes look very Todd McFarlane, which is awesome. The logo is really sleek, but the only thing I'm hoping for is that we don't bring back the anti-venom symbiote as a power that we can use in the next game. I love Peter's gameplay already in Spider-Man 2 with or without the symbiote. I think with the iron arms, it's cool. Obviously the symbiote abilities, you can't really compare, but I just don't like the idea of Peter having symbiote powers without the consequence that comes from having symbiote powers. But if we're just strictly ranking suits here, it's at number 13 and I like it a lot. Then at number 12, I have the base symbiote symbiote suit. This is the one that you get when you first obtain the symbiote. Yeah, I don't really like the legs. You know, he's got some weird shoes going on there. Not sure what's happening, but overall, this is a great design. It's got a modern design while also featuring a lot of the iconography that you would recognize from a classic symbiote suit. And it as well has that regular classic symbiote logo, which made me very happy. I also love how like gross it looks. You know, it's always moving. Every time you zoom in on it, it's all gooey and weird. I don't know. It's an alien life form so the fact that they designed it to look that way was a really cool idea. At number 11, you can't go wrong with the good old fashioned classic suit. What else can I say? It's the classic red and blues. I know for some people, they're gonna have this much higher on their list. And to be honest with you, pretty much every suit from here on out is interchangeable into where I would put them, except for maybe one and two. I love the classic suit and I love that Insomniac made it so that this is the first ever suit you wear when you boot up Spider-Man PS4. But cracking now the top 10 at number 10, I have the Scarlet Spider suit, the original. This is one of my favorite alternate Spider-Man designs of all time. It's just so cool, man. You know, the blue hoodie, that logo, those massive gauntlets that he's got on, everything about it. It's so amazing. And it'll always be one of my favorite Spider-Man suits. At number nine, though, I have the Into the Spider-Verse Noir suit. And first of all, Insomniac, can we get the regular Spider-Verse suit for Peter Parker? That would be great. But I mean, back to this one. Oh man, I was so happy they included 
of this because the trench coat and the hat for the noir costume is how it should always look. I love too that you can actually pull out a Rubik's Cube as one of the air tricks that Peter Parker does. So you get this fully Spider-Verse noir moment. The iron arms also change with this one to look all black. So if you wanted to use the iron arms, it still fits the theme of the suit. And also, I mean, using the symbiote powers with this is pretty nice as well. And number eight, the Maguire attire. I'll never forget that day back in, I think it was December of 2018 when they randomly dropped this for free alongside, I think it was one of the DLCs that they were doing for that game. I just couldn't believe it. There was a single solitary moment where the entire Spider-Man community was on the same page. We were all just celebrating and happy. These days though, oof, that Spider-Man community, yeah. Um, moving on. And then at number seven, I have the symbiote Maguire attire. We all had a feeling that this was going to be in the game. As soon as we saw that they were setting up the symbiote, and then once we already knew as well that the Raimi suit was added in for free into Spider-Man PS4, everyone was saying, okay, the black suit from the same Raimi films needs to pop up in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And lo and behold, it did. And it looks magnificent. You know, originally I was like, why are the webs still the normal regular webs? But then I actually realized as some people have pointed out online, that that is how it looked in the films granted i still think it would be cool if they would allow us to use the black webs with this suit i mean they're doing a quality of life update so that you can use whatever symbiote tendril colors you want so maybe they could do a quality of life update in the future to allow you to switch to the black webs whenever you want moving on though just outside of the top five at number six i have the superior spider-man suit this is another one of my favorite alternate designs for spider-man i'm not the biggest fan of the storyline i don't really like the whole doc ock taking control of peter's mind thing there's some compelling stuff in there don't get me wrong but overall just wasn't really hitting for me the suit looks great though and the fact as well that they give you the red iron arms when you're using the iron arm abilities such a nice touch and you know one of the colorways is definitely a nod to the superior octopus suit i do wish that we actually got that costume in the game but hey i'll take a colorway then at number five i have the upgraded symbiote suit this is the evolved version you know after we learn about the meteorite after kurt connors tells you what the symbiote suit even even is the suit ends up evolving to show that peter is becoming more consumed by it and man this design is so kick ass it looks even more alien like and gross it looks like he's got literal flesh now on him but it's just awesome the eyes look amazing as well hearing tony todd's venom voice coming out of this too or just hearing you know yuri lowenthal really bring the rage with this suit it's so effective. I use this one a lot and I was very happy that it was an actual costume and not just the suit that was tied to your symbiote surge. Then at number four, we're getting close to the end here. I have the final swing suit from Spider-Man No Way Home. This just comes from one of the most triumphant Spider-Man moments that we've seen on film, honestly. And I do really dig the design. I'm so glad that Insomniac included it. That shiny blue just looks really nice. That super vibrant red of course from just the regular mcu spider-man suits is there the logo on the chest and the back look great and then it has you know just the normal mcu spider-man eyes which i've always been a fan of as well it's one of my favorite costumes from any spider-man movie but it's not my favorite and that actually brings us to number three my favorite on-screen spider-man suit the amazing spider-man 2 suit is in this game and it looks perfect you know this one didn't look perfect at first as a matter of fact i really didn't like how it looked when i had my hands on my review copy i believe there's even an episode of the let's play where i was using how it looked like before insomniac had added some patches into the game then after they patched it it looked so much better i was much more happier with it but then they patched it again to have it look even more accurate to the films which i was really happy with as well those big eyes look so good i love the webbing i love the color i love the logo on the front and the back, everything about this suit. It's just one of my favorites of all time. And honestly, these next two, I just, I flip-flopped constantly, constantly, okay? You probably already know what two are left. So at number two, I have the Advanced Suit 2.0. Listen, I'm not like a lot of other people where they like to use what is the canon suit when they play through the story mode of the game. I don't mind switching to like the Scarlet Spider or the Iron Spider suit or just messing around, seeing what combinations work best for both Miles and Peter. I have fun with that. But with Spider-Man 2, this Advanced Suit 2.0, I just couldn't take it off. It 
it looks too good. They improved in every single way all the issues that I had had with the original advanced suit. You know, it's not as messy, it's a bit more refined, and also it has a much deeper, more saturated red and blue to it. The eyes look so sweet as well, and there's one specific colorway that I freaking loved, and I think should be the design of the advanced suit going forward, and that's the black and red. It just makes the white of the spider logo, and then as well, you know, the white carbon fiber gauntlets that he has and everything just makes it pop way more, and it also just fits better with that color scheme than it does with the red and the blue, in my opinion. There was definitely quite a bit of room for improvement between the first advanced suit to the advanced suit 2.0. Going into Marvel Spider-Man 3, though, I don't know how much they need to adjust. I think Insomniac really nailed it with the advanced suit 2.0, and I hope that that's the one that they keep going forward. And then at number one, you already know, I don't really need to build up too much suspense here. It's the big wheel costume. What do you mean they, they didn't put that in the game? Yo, yo, Insomniac, put that in the game. And number one, of course, I have the classic symbiote suit. I am so happy that Insomniac put this in the game, but they didn't just do that, okay? They did the colorways so good with this one. Through the colorways, you can get the purple shading, you can get an anti-venom look if you wanted to, and then also you can get that beautiful 90s animated series, red and blue 3D look with the shading, and it looks magnificent. I will say, I don't mind the anti-venom colorway, but it really would have sent this suit into the stratosphere if we had the blue shading as well. Now, symbiote suits in the past have looked like they had a blue tint to them or a purple tint to them, and then obviously Obviously, you know, the 90s series had that red and blue thing going on. So I'm glad that they had a majority of that in there. But man, if, the, if we had the blue shading as a colorway, it just would have been unbeatable. This would have been one of those suits if it was placed at the level 60 unlock that would have felt so earned and would have gotten me so incredibly excited. I'm glad that you get it earlier. Don't get me wrong. But man, if it was that final unlock, I would have been very happy and i would have been very excited for new game plus to just jump back in with this suit nevertheless it's my number one i don't think i'm gonna be able to make it budge it honestly is one of my favorite looks for spider-man ever it is pretty much the most iconic alternate look for spider-man ever and i cannot thank insomniac enough for including it in this game and there you have it that's my list but the best thing about these lists though is that this is not definitive now you guys get to go into the comment section below and let me know your favorite spider-man suits for peter parker in marvel spider-man 2 i've been caboose i'll see you guys later